Okay, um, this is a quick video going over a secondary water circulation install. Um, we've been called in because this hot water cylinder here um, is feeding a school. We're currently on in the roof, roof space. Uh, down below us, we've got two floors of toilets, uh, all with basins. There's about 12 basins on each floor. Um, and they're just taking ages to get warm, basically. Um, if you don't know much about unvented hot water cylinders, this one's got a built-in expansion. Um, there's your hot water drawer off there. Um, there's your pressure relief. And this is what we've, we've installed um, recently for them. Bronze pump, 1550 bronze pump, um, which is circulating the hot water for them. Um, basically you've got, yeah, and an ISO valve there, just in case, you know, they ever wanna service the pump. But what we've basically done is took took this secondary so that's the secondary port of the cylinder there we've come off that with a male iron pumps there feeding uh, pump is pumping back into the cylinder that's quite important it needs to be pumping back into the cylinder um, yeah we've took the 15 mil pipe all the way down along the roof space I'm just in the middle of lagging it as we speak goes all the way down there under the step, along there, plenty of clips on it. I'm still lagging, so bear with. It's all the way down here. <clears throat> then it tees off here, um, basically because the toilets split off to boys and girls on each floor. So we've teed in twice. We've teed in on the bottom floor, the boys' side, and the bottom floor of the girls' side, just to give it um, more circulation, basically, on, on, you know, even circulation on each side. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll go downstairs and we'll, we'll have a look down there at the T points as well. So this is ground floor. two pipes, this one and this one, they're the 15 mils that you saw in the loft space, they're dropping down the riser, down here, balancing valve there, comes behind the, hot, the main hot and cold feeds, teasing there. This pipe here is the hot feed that I showed you coming from the cylinder in the loft space. So that will now circulate and the pump that I showed you will pull the water from the hot feed back up into the cylinder creating a hot water loop which will constantly keep hot water flowing through the system. And exactly the same here, drops down, balancing lock shield valve, just tease in immediately there. All lagged to make the system more efficient. And that runs off into blending valves, serves all the toilets. Do you have any questions or Anything you want to say, please leave a comment, like the video, much appreciated. Okay guys, just thought I'd show you one last update. They're all lagged. Obviously lagging's a really important part of uh, an install. Let's keep the pipe work, you know, nice and hot or cold, whatever its purpose. You know, condensation can be a big issue, you know, depending on where you are. If it's a little airing cupboard in a flat or something, condensation can be a nightmare, actually. 
I've seen it happen. I've seen, um, you know, I've seen MDF, seen ply rot away from dripping, dripping pipe work landing on it. But anyway, that's by the way. All lagged up. There's 15 mil here. And straight down the risers. Feeding the basins. Keeping the hot water nice and hot. 24-7. Should be on a timer really, but it's not my call. I'm just installing it. And that's it hope you found this video um, helpful like I say <clears throat> drop a comment like it uh, there'll probably be more coming I'm gonna start doing bits and bobs as I'm uh, as I'm out and about yeah sound